Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today we have part 43 of Pokemon Sword Revisited for you, and I hope you are all doing very well today. Um, there's a few things I just wanted to go over real quick. Um, previously, in case this is your first time here, uh, we get to the credit sequence for the first time. We captured Eternatus. Finally got that match with Leon. And absolutely embarrassed him. So if you want to see that, definitely check out the last episode if you haven't already. And uh, one thing I wanted to go over real quick is um, the type chart. Now to those of you guys who are unfamiliar with this chart, um, Essentially, this dictates the weaknesses and strengths of all the different types. Uh, so you have the attacking types on the left, and the defenses on the top. And so how they intersect, um, like for example, in the top left, uh, the first most basic one is water is super effective against fire types. However, um, you know, there are a great many types that resist it, so if it's a, you know, fire and dragon type, water would actually be neutral, because dragon resists water. So that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, and there are a few things, um, uh, I kind of went over, I've been mulling about a bit in my head, and, uh, there are a few members of my current party I'm not a huge fan of. Um, Espeon's great. Luxray is great. Uh, Venusaur, I taught um, Sludge Bomb off screen. I went ahead and found that TR and gave that to him, so now he has a poison type attack, which is great. Um, but yeah, Excadrill, he has great type coverage. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this guy. There are quite a few other ground types I would rather have in the party. Um, and my big pick for a ground type that I would want in my party would be Swampert. Uh, Swampert was added into the game in the Crown Tundra DLC. So we can get him. Um, and the other one that I'm probably going to swap out might be Lapras. Just for a while, for certain battles. Um, also, I have a Togetic, which has a Dynamax level, so I'm assuming this was part of a max raid and I decided to catch him. I think, pretty sure. Um, so there's a good chance it has a couple of perfect IVs, but we don't have the IV checker yet. Um, so before I really get into making an OP team, um, I'm gonna wanna get that. There are also a few others that would be quite good. Like Mind Foo's Evolution. Uh, main. Main. It's actually probably Main Foo. Um, I believe is Main Shao? Main Shao, yeah. Uh, it's a fighting type. Very good attack stat. Uh, not the best defensively, but he's a very good attacker. Um,. Another very good fighting type in this game would be Komo-O. That's not his evolved... No, that is his evolved version. Uh, he has this... He's dragon and fighting. And has bulletproof or soundproof as his abilities. Overcoat as a hidden ability, which I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, immune to residual damage from weather conditions. That's garbage. 
Um, but he is... I think a sword exclusive Pokemon? So we could get him. Uh, his first form, Jengmo O. Um, can be found in the Pot Bottom Desert, Challenge Road, or Lake of Outrage. Pot Bottom Desert. Oh, you know what? I think I have. I think I do know where I've seen him. Um. And he doesn't have any special, like, evolution conditions either. Um. I don't remember what Bulletproof is, but Soundproof is uh, very useful. Bulletproof makes the Pokemon immune to ball and bomb moves. Okay. So, Acid Spray, Aura Sphere, Barrage, Beak Blast, Bullet Seed, Egg Bomb, Electro Ball, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Gyro Ball, Ice Ball, Magnet Bomb, Mist Ball, Mud Bomb, Octazooka, Pollen Puff, Rock Blast, Rock Wrecker, Searing Shot, Seed Bomb, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball, and Zap Cannon. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, soundproof, however, grants the Pokemon immunity to all sound-based moves, uh, preventing all damage and effects. So, Boom Burst, Bug Buzz, Chatter, Clanging Scales, Clangorous, Soul Blaze, Confide, Disarming Voice, Echoed Voice, Grass Whistle, Howl, Hyper Voice, Metal Sound, Noble Roar, Parting Shot, Perish Song, which, that's an absolute, like, wrecker. Uh, round Screech, Sing, Snarl, Snore, Sparkling Aria, Supersonic, and Uproar. So some of those moves are kind of broken. Um, so being immune to them is pretty great. Uh, especially like Sing and Screech and uh, Supersonic, Parish Song, uh, Metal Sound, that's another not good one. Um, yeah, so a lot of those are not great, but either soundproof or bulletproof, they're both great abilities, to be honest. And bulletproof, yeah, being immune to like Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Mud Bomb is another one, Energy Ball, Aura Sphere, Egg Bomb. They're not like common moves, um, so yeah, I think for utility, I think Soundproof is better. Uh, but yeah, Soundproof is not really, yeah, it's not an ability held by too many Pokemon. There's Exploud, Electrode. Blastiodon, Obama Snow, Bufalunt. That's pretty much it. But yeah, Dragon and Fighting is not the best combination. Uh, and for the most part, like, Dragon type doesn't really have too many benefits because Dragon is really only f super effective against other Dragon types. Uh, and it has the weaknesses of Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. So it's introducing three weaknesses. And Fairy is actually four times effective against it. And it doesn't help with any of the weaknesses of Fighting type. So actually, I'm probably not going to use Jingmo or Koma O. Uh, a much better pairing for fighting type would be steel type. So, um, like Lucario, especially hidden ability Lucario, which is justified. Um, and in double battles, that can get really cool. Um, but yeah, Togekiss would be a good one, and Swampert also be excellent. Um, 
trying to think of any other... Oh, and actually the fighting type I would go with um, was also added in the uh, Crown Tundra DLC. The fan favorite, Blaziken. The hyper fighting chicken. <laughs> That's, that's not his actual Pokédex entry, but it should be. Um, but anyway, what we're supposed to do for now is to go to the... Um, right over here. The name of this place is escaping me, but a uh, place where we got the rusty sword and the rusty shield. Um... But yeah, Togekiss's, one of its regular abilities is Serene Grace, which is really good. Um, really, really good. Uh, yeah, I'll take an egg one out. Yeah, I'll send it to a box. So, for my mans, my man, um, I'm just going to deposit everybody right now. Talonflame should be strong enough to take on pretty much anything I accidentally run into if I do run into anything. And I don't really need to hatch any of these eggs, but I'm going to see what's here at the daycare. Uh, take one back. Yep. Oh. Okay. Eevees. Alright. Um... Glaceon would be a great pick for a nice type. So for now, I'm actually going to use the other daycare. Um, just curious what this one is. Uh, that's a Vespiquin. Don't really have a rock type right now. Um... And I don't really care about Vespa Quinn at all, so... But now that we've beat the game, we get more Watts from Max Raid Battles. Or Max Raid Dens. Um, and if you guys can hear that, that was a fart. On the Farts and Crap Show, what? Uh, take the Pokemon back. <laughs> oh right, that was a Lapras Egg, okay. Yeah, I am good on Laprises for now. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go into the list. And... I see you in there, and Amora in there, but I actually want to raise this egg because that's an Eevee. And let's see, we want Togetic, and does Togekiss have any worthwhile egg moves, is the question. It has extra sensory, which is pretty good. Um, however, you can also get Psy Shock. But with Serene Grace, how that works is it uh, doubles the chance of secondary effects. And Extra Sensory is a flinch chance move. Uh, I can also learn Air Slash, which is also a flinch chance move. As well as... 
Aura Sphere? Is that real? This damage ignores changes to accuracy and evasion stats. Okay. So it's a fighting type move that will always hit. It also learns Yawn. Uh, for the most part, most of my Pokemon, if they have two types, I prefer two of the moves to be stab attacks. So same type attack bonus. Attacks. Um, Draining Kiss would be one that's okay. can also learn Dazzling Gleam, which would be my preferred one, which I think... Hits both of the opposing, all adjacent Pokemon, yeah, in double battles with no other benefit. So I'd probably go with Dazzling Gleam, Air Slash, uh, Shadow Ball. It can learn Shadow Ball, which would be great because Shadow Ball also has a 20% chance of lowering special defense by one stage. But with Serene Grace Togekiss, that would be raised to 40%. Uh, and then with Togekiss, we could also give it a King's Rock, which would increase the flinch chance for both uh, Air Slash and Extra Sensory. So we would want a high speed, high special attack. Togekiss. And Togekiss's defense is already really good, so wouldn't really have to boost that much at all. And let's see, the Togekiss's egg moves are learned from Noctowl. Hoot hoot. I think I had a chance to catch a Noctowl and I didn't. So that's my own fault. Correct. However, extrasensory is not like necessary. I think I would actually prefer yawn. Or even another type that I don't have coverage with. Like Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere would be a good one. Or Mystical Fire. Or... Even Ancient Power would be okay. I thought he could have Tailwind. Am I misremembering that? Is that not real? No, I can't have Tailwind. Okay. Um, but yeah, inflicting sleep is always good. You can also have life do, which would be good as a support. Uh, it's just re HP recovery. But it's only for double battles, really. I mean, you can use it in single battles, but it's not really worth the turn. And unless you're using it in double battles. So I think what we'll do Let's see. The current ditto is not that great. Um Time that right now. We're 
20 minutes. Okay, we're okay. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Ditto Den. Uh, now that I've beaten the game, the Dens have a chance of having 5-star max raid battles, uh, which means better IVs for all Pokemon in that den. I'm just gonna try like one. Yeah, it's double, I don't care. Um, okay, so no worries there. Again, uh, the starting IVs don't matter a whole lot, it's just nice. But I mean, if you're gonna raise your Pokemon to like level 100, it doesn't matter as much. Um, okay, so I'll just leave... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We need, um... Ooh. Actually, we don't want either of those. Uh... Do I have... Wait, I have a Destiny Knot, though, right? Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Looks like a red ball of yarn. Oh, I don't see one. I think you need battle points to get a destiny knot in this game. Which we don't have yet, but uh, I can worry about that later, it doesn't matter. Alright. What really matters is the ability here. So, Serene Grace Togetic, or er, Togepi, is what we're looking for. Um, I'll just grab one egg. Um, I'm not going to like get a bunch, because that's going to be time-consuming. I can do that in between episodes. I have some of the eggs from the other daycares, so like baby Eevees and Laprises. Oh. And if by some... Huge coincidence, I happen to get a shiny Lapras. I would definitely use that in my party. Or a shiny Eevee. I don't really like most of Eevee's, like, shinies after you evolve it. But, eh. Alright, so we have an egg. It's definitely the bottom one. Um, I could go. I could keep all of these eggs in my party right now. Uh, definitely want to keep Talonflame. Uh, put Venusaur in for like his uh, maybe last hurrah. He also has Sleep Powder in case I need that. Um, it's just grass and poison aren't the most useful. Let's see, we'll be going up against, uh, I don't remember if you have to fight them or not. So actually not Venusaur, he's only got two type coverage, uh, on type coverage. Um... Lapras technically has more than two because of freeze dry. Uh, Luxray and Arcanine are both really good with that. So, you know what? I'll take them. I'll take Arcanine and Luxray. Oh, and one of them should be up front. Uh, Luxray. And we'll fast travel back to Postwick. I 
because basically what we need to do is finish the post-game stuff, get to the battle tower portion of the game, uh, to get some of the TMs I don't have, and the IV checker, which is pretty important. Slumber and Wield. That's the name of this game. Uh, area. That's right. Anyway, um, fun fact about this episode. I would actually... Um... This would be part 44. But... I uh, deleted a bunch of footage because it was just me talking about um, different picks for my for my new team. Oh, you son of a... Absolute jerk. However, I could just use all legendaries, considering uh, all the legendaries that they added in the uh, Crown Tundra. So let me know, uh, do you guys want just like all legendaries in my party, or some like regular Pokemon like beefed up to the nines? The great part of the legendaries is, um, you don't have to, uh, there's no breeding process, because you can't breed legendaries. They're just out of the box, like, require no work, <laughs> but like, really cool Pokemon. Um, Oh, he's got hustle. Damn it. I don't care about your side hustle, Togepi. Uh, may as well take one of these other eggs, why not? Damn it. Alright, we got Hop here. Huh? Creepers, what are you doing here in the woods? Uh, what about you? <laughs> Nobody ever comes in here, since this is the forest where Zakian and Zemazenta have rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking, since it's so quiet and all. You say you felt something like was calling me here, Creepers? It's... <laughs> Mate, that's pretty uncanny. Oh, but I hadn't had the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Creepers. Honestly, Kribbles, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. My brother. The greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable and you still came around. Yeah. So Galar has a new unbeatable champion. Dismoi. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Kribbles. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Creepers, do you think? Do you think I say your name too much, Creepers? <laughs> Would you be up for one more battle? Uh, why? Because I want to feel for myself the strength, the strength that defeated my brother, the greatest champion we ever had. Come on, Creepers. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. Okay, cool. I was like, I, you realize I don't have my battle team with me. <laughs> But thankfully, uh, since this is a more recent Pokemon game, um, I don't have to backtrack all the way to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I came here for a leisurely stroll too. It's like, that's great. Would you want a battle? <laughs> Give it your all. Like, no, a leisurely stroll. Yeah, I know, you beat Lee. Quite handily. Now give me a battle. 
It's like hop. <laughs> Fine. Uh, he's probably gonna start with double, so it's gonna go with, uh, like he always does. This will be a serious battle. You ready for that, aren't you? Yeah. This is it. Mm-hmm. Time to get stomped. This kid. He never gives up. Except that one time when he did. I mean, if I wanted to embarrass him, I could just, like, get a ghost type. And <laughs> he's like... Oh man, I can't even touch you. Actually, I'm going to throw out Venusaur because he's got a new move. And I'm pretty sure he'll resist everything Lillaboom has, so... Because I know he has, like, Grass-type and Fighting-type moves, I think, right now. Alright, I wasn't going to use that anyway. Fire or electricity will be fine. I don't know. Steel and flying is a really good combo. He's mostly a physical defense kind of person. And actually, yeah, Togekiss can learn Flamethrower as well, so I might do that. It's 
since he's going to be a special attacker. I already have a good amount of physical attackers. Um, let's see, Corviknight. Actually, no, his defenses are pretty even. Huh. Alright, yeah, firefighting then. How? That is... I know I mentioned it in the last episode, but that is so lame. Like, Firefang misses, like, way too often. It's 95 accuracy. Like... But it still misses a lot. I'm not even sure how it misses that often. Just teach him Flare Blitz. It it's very powerful. It also damages Arcanine. But yeah, it's one of the few physical fire type moves. Which I really wish there were more he could learn. Like Fire Punch would be really good. But Arcanine can't learn that one. Yeah, it's 7,500. And yeah, Flare Blitz. Uh, it's a 120 attack power move, but it also... It also re... yeah, the user receives a third of the damage it inflicted in recoil. So if the attack does 90 HP to the opponent, the user will lose 30 HP. So that's really bad for taking out Pokemon that have a lot of HP. Because like, yeah, if, like it's taking out an opponent that has more HP than Arcanine, it could potentially take like half of its health off. So that's why I don't use Flare Blitz. Um, like most of the fire moves that are really good in this game are special attacks. Um, and of all the ones that have 100 accuracy, yeah, like the Flamethrower is the best one. At 9,100. And actually, let me check. Statistically, Arcanine has... Wow, its physical attack is way better than its special attack now. Yeah, he's always been more of a physical attacker. Not by much, though. It's just most of Arcanine's good moves are physical attacks. I could have a special attacker Arcanine, but then... I'd be stuck with moves like... Um... Really, there's not much. Yeah, there's really not. Yeah. This kind of sucks. I could just teach him Flame Wheel. 
but that's only it's only 60. It has a 10% chance of burn, but that's it. Fire Fang is better because it has a flinch chance and a burn chance. And it's a little bit more powerful. Uh, Pincurchin is the electric one, I think. Yeah, it's Piki, 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 Yuki, or what? I don't remember. That's the water type one. Pincurchin is a uh, pincushion. Is how I remember it. bad there, Hop. Didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Uh, I... <laughs> Why would you not expect that? However... If we do get a Blaziken... It's actually got really good physical attack. And he learns Fire Punch, which is great. Uh, and Blaze Kick, which is okay. Um, Fire Punch is a little bit weaker than Blaze Kick, but I think they're both good, honestly. Uh, Blaze Kick also has an increased critical hit ratio. So 1 out of 8 instead of 1 out of 24. The downside to Blaze Kick is the accuracy is 90. So... But Blaze Kick's special attack is okay. And he can also learn Flamethrower. But he's a fighting type as well, so in my opinion, one of the better fighting types in the game. And then he can learn all kinds of really good stuff. Uh, close combat, superpower, reversal, low kick, low sweep, brick break, revenge. Uh, double kick, detect, bulk up. Yeah, the only one that's really missing is Drain Punch. Which is a fantastic move. Um, let me actually see who can learn Drain Punch. Uh, Hitmonchan can have it. Mine Shao, again, a really good one. Um... Mewtwo, <laughs> if I happen to find a Mewtwo. I didn't know he could learn that. Togetic? Togetic can have Drain Punch? What? It's a physical move, though. Um, Lucario. Again, that would be a really good pick for uh, fighting type and a steel type, actually. Gallade. It was also quite good. Um,. And I think I know where to get a Gallade, actually. Pangoro, who I won't use because he's fighting in dark, which is a bad combination. Um, Passimian, he's okay, pure fighting type. Grap locked. 
also a pretty good fighting type. Uh, Mr. Rhyme, oddly enough, but that's not a fighting type. Um, Glade is actually a really good attacker. Physical attack. I'm just not a big fan of Glade. His hidden ability is justified, his regular ability is steadfast, which is okay. Um, yeah, Passimian is not great. Um, again, Lucario would be a good choice. Purely for his typing. I, I, I used to not like Lucario, but I, I've come around on him. He's kind of like Glade, where Steadfast is one of his regular abilities and Justified is his hidden ability. But he can also have Inner Focus, which is also pretty good, because it prevents your immune to flinching. Uh, steadfast is raises speed each time the Pokemon flinches, so not great. But yeah, Lucario has really balanced stats. Um, he's good for physical attack or special attack, either one. Uh, sometimes I like to go special attack Lucario because he has few really notable special attacks like Aura Sphere uh, and Dragon Pulse, oddly enough. Admittedly, most of his moves are physical. Uh, you can also, he can also have Vacuum Wave as an egg move, which is not great. I think that's fighting type quick attack, basically. You can teach him Psychic, Shadow Ball, Aura Sphere, Dark Pulse, that's another good one. Um, Flash Cannon, another really good one. That's Steel type. Um, and he can learn Nasty Plot. So you can just like boost it. I think he can also learn Swords Dance, though. Yes, he can. And Earthquake, actually. So... Could Swords Dance Earthquake? <laughs> Some fools. Um, let's see, for Steel-type moves, though, I think Flash Cannon is probably his best move. Oh, wait, no, he can also learn Meteor Mash, which is really good. Uh, and Iron Head, maybe? Can he learn Iron Head? It's got Metal Claw. Iron Tail. Flash Cannon. Um, Iron Tail is not great for the uh, low accuracy. Looks like Meteor Mash is his best one. You can also get Ice Punch and Thunder Punch, which is pretty great for uh, type coverage. Um, Bullet Punch. Oh, it's a priority steel type move, but it's only 40. So that's not bad. Meteor Mash. Deals damage and has a 20% chance of raising the user's attack by one stage. So that's good. Um, so that would actually be a really good moveset for Lucario. You can learn Life Dew, too. Um, okay, so I'd probably go with Meteor Mash, Drain Punch... Oh, he can learn Shadow Claw, too. That would be really good for Ghost-type coverage. Ooh, 
Ooh, Shadow Claw is a good move. Uh, Drain Punch, Meteor Mash, Earthquake, and Swords Dance, maybe? You learn Poison Jab, too, so Poison-type coverage, but you wouldn't really want to use him against... I mean, if you're using Poison, it's probably for Fairy-types or Grass-types. I don't think there's anything else Poison is super effective against. Yeah, it's Grass-types and Fairy-types. So I don't think that's... something I prioritize. He can also learn Blaze Kick, surprisingly enough. Huh. Again, kind of... not the best. He can learn Crunch, but I don't think... I mean, Ghost and Dark have the same... Uh, like, effectiveness. Like, you use Ghost for Psychic and Ghost-type, and you use Dark for Psychic and Ghost-type. So... Shadow Claw is definitely better than, um, than Crunch. Since it's a little bit less powerful, but it has a much higher critical hit chance. Crunch has better base damage, but it can lower defense by one stage. 20% chance. So it's okay in that respect. Actually, counting on crits is... Pretty bad uh, strat. But yeah, Drain Punch and Meteor Mash would be the stab moves. And then maybe Crunch or Shadow Claw, maybe, for one of the other... I mean, you wouldn't use Lucario against a Psychic type anyway. Maybe a ghost type, but a lot of ghost types have psychic type moves, so not really a great option there. Um, it kind of makes more sense to teach him uh, Earthquake. You can learn Bone Rush, which is kind of weird. I think he and Marowak are kind of the only two that learn that. Could be wrong there. Uh, Brick Break would also be a solid choice for for him. The thing is, is he has so many good moves. It's kind of hard to also put. Uh, Swords Dance on there. Um, yeah, probably Earthquake, actually. I mean, Brick Break would also be good for, um, 
destroying certain barriers, like light screen and uh, uh, Aurora Veil and Reflect. But yeah, maybe Swords Dance instead, let other Pokemon take care of that. Swords Dance, Earthquake, Meteor Mash, and Drain Punch would probably be the moveset I would use for a Lucario. Um, and I did run into a Lucario... Where was that? I did find one. I think it was in the Crown Tundra, I'm pretty sure. But anyway. Uh... So we're already like way over time, so I guess we'll just finish this conversation with Hop real quick. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you would be my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all that noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Crables, congratulations on beating Leon. You sex a bitch. Uh, thank you. Taking it all in stride like it's in you, like it's your do, eh? You cheeky thing. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are. And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galad region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I had before. And here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. It makes a collector's item. Oh, that makes it a collector's item. We copy a sign your book in your bag's key item pocket. Cool. I've already got my own copy. Mind up to buy it the day it came out. Oh, thanks, Hob. That's so sweet. Uh, what, what is that expression on my face? It's rather odd. Wait, all right. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Professor Sony in the future, wouldn't you say? I expect so. Sonya and Kribos, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? Uh, uh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You're putting the rusted sword and the rusted shield back into place. You can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We, uh, we were. Uh, yeah, that's what we were doing. Uh, we were just about to do that. <laughs> you forgot entirely, didn't you? What, do you think the two of you are besties now, Zakian and Zamazenta or something? It must be it, Kribbles. Uh, why are you feeling like you were called here? Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we get to see Zakian and Zamazenta again someday. Cool. I was hoping there'd be a break in the cutscenes. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, folks. Um, on the next episode... Um, gonna be continuing with this. Uh, gonna be adding some Pokemon to the team. Maybe not on the next episode, but soon. Um, and again, those are going to be uh, Togekiss, Lucario. And Swampert. And um, yeah, going to be looking into the egg moves and all that good stuff for all three of them. So um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And a very special thank you to our TFAX channel members, Retro HD and Old Cranky Gamer. Uh, it used to be Retro VHD. 
um, but I guess they slightly adjusted their channel name. So I, I like it. It looks good. Typography is a little better, but anyway, have a beautiful day, everybody. Many blessings on your journey, whatever it might be. And until next time, take care.